So, Last Jedi, most controversial Star Wars film. For the MCU, here we go. Hello, one and all. Uh, welcome back to another video on Joseph Reviews. And this time on, I shall be reviewing the 21st and the newest MCU film and the most controversial at the moment, Captain Marvel, which stars Brie Larson, uh, Jude Law, Samuel Jackson and Ben Mendelsohn. And this is the uh, MCU film before Endgame. So this is the first superhero movie we have we are getting this year. Well, for what I'm seeing this year at the moment. And guys, um, as I say with my every new released review, uh, this will contain spoilers. 100% spoiler. Free. Spoiler free. You're safe here. No spoilers, please, who have seen it. Alright guys, so let's get to the positives. The positives, or pros, whatever you want to call them. Um, Samuel Jackson. Great job in this movie. Um, the way they did with the CGI on the... Um, young look of uh, Nick Fury. Uh, it worked so well for the character. And um, his chemistry with Brie Larson as uh, Captain Marvel slash Carol um, Danvers. Oh, okay, so the best part about Captain Marvel, Brie Larson, um, in my opinion, was definitely the uh, beginning of the movie uh, where she was sort of um, which we kind of know from the trailers already where she's sort of controlling um, her anger and all that and I also liked um, Ben Middleton as um, Tal uh, T-A-L-O-S um, I enjoyed his character as well he was um, for what I've seen, he was quite good in the movie. And the basically the the first two acts of the movie I really like. I enjoy those a lot. And Jude Law was also pretty good in the movie. Oh yes. There's a cat in the movie. Meow. <laughs> Alright, I'm not gonna do that. But yes, I loved the cat in the movie. And plus there was some good sense of humour in this movie, especially with the cat. Okay, now, did I enjoy the movie? Yes, I enjoyed the movie a lot. But, does it have its problems? Yep, and let's get to them. Now, parts of um, Brie Larson, for what I've heard, she's a great actor just for what I've heard in um, certain things um, with her career. Brie Larson um, in Room, uh, Scott Pilgrim and uh, Conskull Island, uh, which I have seen as well, which is also another disappointing movie. But hey, they don't really... But anyways, on back with the review, um, there are parts of Brie Larson's character as um, Carol slash um, Captain Marvel that I felt were just pretty wooden at part, uh, especially towards in the third act where she sort of gets the real costume and all that kind of shit. Plus there are other parts in the movie that really do not work and unfortunately the third act doesn't really um, do much for the movie 
and some all right and some visuals don't work as well in the movie oh and back to some more positive skies which i forgot to mention some action sequences were pretty cool as well along with the train scene if you've seen the trailer and all that and yeah that scene was pretty uh, good probably one of the best action scenes oh and my favorite action bit was probably the beginning as well but yes guys so yes there are things in captain marvel that really don't work whatsoever i'm i'm like now look i'm glad that the mcu movies um is getting different directors for um uh different movies and all that Which is which is good actually, but I never really know the uh, the directors' names like Anna Bodden, Ryan Fleck, <laughs> and all that. But yeah, some other parts don't really work with Captain Marvel, but that's spoilers. So overall, guys, Captain Marvel. Uh, while I think it's a a uh, fun movie. I think it's a good movie to watch. Um, I will say I do enjoy the first half with uh, Brie Larson. Um, what she was good at. I The standout for me was uh, Samuel Jackson. He was great. So was the cat. And so were some action sequences. And so were some... And, and the negative parts of Brie Larson was kind of wooden at parts and some things that don't work which is spoilers obviously obviously i don't know um which is spoilers um parts that i'm like um okay oh yes guys the post credit scenes you should definitely stay for those that's all i'm gonna say and on my rating scale guys I'm going to give uh, Captain Marvel a 7 out of 10. And as how I would rank Captain Marvel in the MCU at the minute, I would rank it number 17. Alrighty guys, that was my review on Captain Marvel. Comment down below, let me know what you all thought of this movie. Do you love it? Think it's okay? Um, do you, were you disappointed? Or whatever. Uh, oh, and guys, since yesterday was International Woman's Day, comment down below. Let me know who your favourite um, badass female character is. Let me know below. And guys, um, there are some movies I'm planning to see. Um, like I've seen How to Train Your Dragon, so I don't know when I'll review it. I'm trying to find a moment to. So guys, um, I will find a good time and I hope you guys enjoy my idea for live streaming uh, Q&A months. They will sort of be at the beginning of every month for those who have missed them. So they'll be sort of around every month, the monthly Q&As for those who have missed them. And I do apologise but make sure you do click the notification bell to stay tuned for those. But as always, guys, comment, like, and subscribe. All my social media links are in the description below. Don't forget to click on the notification bell before you leave. And as always, until my next video, I will see you guys then. And peace.